been a big uh, big week or so cutting out these windows and getting the frames in so you can see on the other side of the boat the cutouts are ready to install the frames on the other side this side I've finished so the frames are installed all the way around and it's a bit more complicated than it might seem simply because the, this pilot house, this wheelhouse has got a slight curve to it along the deck line so along this deck line here it actually curves so the window frames, each, each section of the window frame you can probably see if I get it over the top there you can see the square bar square tube that has to be bent to match the shape of the pilot house before it's welded in and have to do that for every frame top and bottom and then um, install the beads you can see these these 20 mil flat bar beads that are installed there welded in uh, I've just got to clean up the tacks off of them and clean up any spatter give it a bit of a sandblast tomorrow and, um, and paint it but it's come out pretty well I'm quite happy with that it's got a nice shape uh, and after I finish cleaning up this side tomorrow and a bit of paint then onto the other side and of course after that the main pile house windows there'll be three separate windows across this forward opening um, won't be quite as complicated as doing the sides because uh, the windows are just in three flat sections whereas these windows were curved and interestingly enough once, once you install the, the frames You've then, got to, you've then got to decide whether you want the windows to curve and follow the same shape or whether you want them flat and, and I've chosen to install them flat because I know that with the, um, the acrylic windows that we're going to use cut out and put in here that once you flex them they tend to get a bit bit of a fisheye effect or they get, they get distorted slightly so having them flat is, is much nicer to look through so that in itself was quite tricky because I've had to get these beads in and keep them flat in relation to the top and bottom and left and right edges, uh, ignoring the shape of the uh, of the um, the curvature of the pilot house. So that just took quite a quite a bit, bit of effort to work out how to do that. And in the end, I, if you look over there, you can see that that jig. What I did is I made that jig up. Um, that'll fit in all of the openings apart from the, the small um, quarter light there but um, that jig fits in all the other openings and, and I've made sure that when I assembled it it's perfectly flat so the tip of each bar top and bottom left and right are all flat pretty much within half a mil of each other and what I can do is then just tack weld that in position and then use the ends of those tubes as reference points to mark and uh, I keep the ends at, at uh, a set distance from the post so I keep where these posts these upright posts here are I keep the end of that frame of that jig um, a 15 mil depth on that forward and aft end of these vertical um, beams and, and then the, uh, the horizontals have got to be flat, both top and bottom in line with that. So uh, it, it, means that the, it means that this edge, this centre edge here, the, the depth in this space here is slightly more than it is at the front and back, obviously because of the curvature in this piece of plate. But once their windows are in and sealed with sealant, you, you won't even see it, you won't notice, so... Uh, and the windows being flat will be a much nicer view when you're inside looking out. Yeah, so kept me busy for a week or so. Uh, this side was the trial and error, how to do it, how to work it, you know, how to how to make up the jig. And there's no real guides on exactly how to do this. You've got to sort of suck in and see, but it's come out quite well. So I'm I'm fairly happy with that. Um, getting these. You can see these radius pieces that are put in there. Getting those bent was a challenge. I did those by hand on the bench in a vice, cold formed them with a hammer. So it took a bit of while, but uh, it took a fair while, a bit of effort, but they came out quite nice in the end. Same up that far end. I did those uh, 
those radius pieces by hand. All right, so I'll back into it tomorrow. It's um, about 6.30 in the evening now, so time to wrap up and go and have some dinner.